Hello YouTube. Today we're going to discover how to fix a punctured tire. As you can see right here, looks like we picked up a 10 millimeter screw bolt something or other while we were out camping this past week. And for a simple five dollars, we're going to fix it ourselves. Things you're going to need are something to pry the screw out. I'm just going to use a simple blade and a tire plug repair kit. This little kit right here, $4.99, everything in it you need to fix it. So step one, we're going to get this out of here. That right there is going to put a nice fucking hole in the tire. Thanks to the nice construction crew that was working beside the cabin. I'm going to start off with the ream tool here. It's going to rough everything up. I'm going to go in and out a few times. go. This part here I'm going to kind of thread it in this little hole here. In some cases you're going to, have to kind of squish this down a little bit. Every brand's a little bit different. Because it's going to fit through the eye of this. Okay, so get it through the eye. Now you're going to coat this whole piece with rubber cement. Kind of messy. Might get some places. Doesn't matter. Just make sure it's all nicely coated. Just for extra measure, I've always put a dab right at the hole. Now with a quick jab, push down and pull out. Now, got to let that dry, and let it dry for a little bit, as long as that's still tacky, it's not completely dry. And after this is dry, cut these little bits off here, All right, for my personal comfort, I like to let this sit for about 45 minutes to make sure it's good and dry. I know the package on a lot of them do say that you can pop it in and go up, add air and everything, but I'm home, I'm not on the road, it's not a big deal to let it sit for 45 minutes, and that's just what I like to do. So now that this is dry, still got a little tack to it, not much. We're going to pump it up and make sure she holds air. Okay, we're back. Now, I've added the air to the tire. Got 40 pounds per square inch. This tire does hold 44, but I always go a few under. So you can see the patch. It's holding quite nicely, but we're going to make sure. Don't want to make sure it will we want to make sure there's no air coming around here, so we're going to spritz it with a little bit of water. Got a handy little spray bottle. Just going to look for any air bubbles coming up. And I don't see any. And on that note, this tire is ready to be put back on. That's it. You've learned how to plug your punctured ass tire. Thanks for watching. Later.